Good Tuesday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA and his 16 foot travel trailer that I live in full time. And I have to tell you I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. And what else? Hey Google, tell us a joke. <clears throat> Did you hear about the frog that was raised by bunnies? All it can say is rabbit. Mm, pretty weak. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? <clears throat> in Bangor, it's currently 59. What's the temperature in Anchorage, Alaska? The temperature in Anchorage right now is 56. Nice weather there, folks, but it's a long way for me to drive. Anyway, what else is going on? Today's Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> did some videos yesterday as I was driving around. Had a good day, and uh, today it's supposed to be amazingly. Hey, Google, good morning. Good morning, Rusty. The time is 6.57 a.m. Right now in 78611, it's 77 and clear. Today, it'll be mostly sunny, with a forecasted high of 100 and a low of 75. Have a good one. Yep. We're into the hundreds again. And uh, that's the way it'll be for several days until we get into probably... Gosh, it'll be the middle of September before the temperatures start to come down. <clears throat> but then we get to October. Very nice. David Wischu... Wow. W-I-S-C-H-M. Wischinuski. Wischinuski. It's hard to admit that one. Uh, talking about the Ram pickup. The way the Ford and Chevy trucks these days last, there's no reason to buy a new truck. And then Frank Scandalito says, he says he's looked at the used one. The miles are are too high and the price for the truck. Yeah, you're right. I looked at used trucks too. <clears throat> a used pickup, you might as well buy a new one. That's why I did. Man living naturally, broomology. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. My wife always says, give me that broom and let me do that. Whenever she sees me attempting to use it, don't send me the degree I hate to ruin a good thing <laughs> don't blame you <clears throat> this is Dr. Dan on the Rockwood RV travel trailer I owned my monster RV never again very similar to this one and experienced most of the horror stories you have mentioned so far boy was I happy to get rid of that behemoth I'd go back to a tent first <laughs> I'm telling you man I see people pulling those things down the highway Man, but of course, if you're working, you know, some of these people that work in the oil field have them, and some people that do construction and stuff, you know, pipeline crews and stuff, they have them, and that's a little dirty because they're living in them. They're not, I mean, they're living in them a lot. They're not just, quote, full time, and that is their house. <clears throat> not that there's a difference. Jimmy Rance it says, I have a Ford Dually. I love it. It's a BAT, a big ass truck. They ain't cheap for sure. Mine's used, though. Well, that doesn't matter if you like it. Roger St. Martin on comment called, Well, the turtle... Why did the turtle cross the row? road? I don't know. He's still crossing. <laughs> he worked, This guy works for Google, I guess. Yeah, that'd be one they'd tell. James Ortiz, nice rig. She's got big hips. Yeah, oh, that ram. That's a good, they're good-looking trucks, but man, are they 70,000 or whatever? That's a lot. Gavin H. on the truck. LOL, no drive throughs for those duties. Well, anyone would be nuts using any F-250, 2500, F-350, 3500 series diesel trucks for grocery getting and drive throughs Those kind of folks are just wanting a diesel just to say they have one. LOL, those kind of folks not really towing anything other than burgeoning ego. <clears throat> uh, Norm F on the Ram in it's a Texas Longhorn Dodge Dually Diesel in Creeper Black. You can't get more kick, rear end, throat throbbing power in a pickup than this. Well worth the price. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I just happened to pick it at random. Deborah Fry on the Rockwood, way too big for me to pull. Very nice though for the right people. Yeah, it's a big I mean it's plenty roomy, I'll say that. Shift into high, man, oh man, that's a truck, 75K. You know old Dick may be comp compensating for something. Uh, LOL, thank you, shift into high. William Hogg, 
comment called uh, it says Rusty you may find this series of YouTubes from a buyer of a casita when he was 72 it's a, got a link he spent 28 days on the road when he bought it on his way back to Virginia well I'll have to check that out William Hogg thank you very much Spiderhead says <clears throat> Good God, what a monster. Talking about the Rockwood RV. I can hear the dog growling. Dinner time, run, Jane, run. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got a big old dog in my mind. Uh, the Rockwood, PJ Biker Full left a link to the RV Outlet Mall and the Rockwood and some other stuff. Thank you, PJ Biker Full. Pamela Teehee, great story and very true. <clears throat> Uh, funny, but not if you're Dick and Jane. Love it. Keep them coming, Rusty. The weather wouldn't have been my first thought, but I'm sure being the master of, of stories, you're right. Thanks. I love this. Twin Sparrow says, how is a 36-foot considered ultra an ultralight? Well, if it only weighs 5,000 pounds, like it says it does on that little sticker, then it is ultralight for that weight. Ultralight for that weight. Ultralight for that length. Wow. Uh, have to think about that. Anyway, uh, Pamela Tihi RVing with Dick and Jane. I'm going to Amazon and get Dick and Jane some medication. <clears throat> I see you 812. Is Brooke good looking? Uh, the sales lady, she was okay. Depends, you know, she's, I don't know, depends on you. I mean, she's all right. She's nice. Uh, Pamela Tihi, another great comment call. Uh, Pat. Patricia Reddick, we enjoy Dick and Jane. Haters go hate. <laughs> Shit, I don't care what they do. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, this is Pamela Teehee. He says, I've never seen a Longhorn Edition huge truck. I guessed it was 70000 something. Nice truck. Too bad Dick and Jane spent so much of their retirement on a truck and RV, but they'll learn through the eyes of our leader, Rusty. Well, actually, they're just fictitious stuff. <clears throat> Hot Limited Dick picked a good truck. I guess he did. I, I don't know. Seems like he did. He spent a lot of money. RV Life on the up and ro open road. RVing with Dick and Jane. Rusty, have you been following us? LOL, I love it. You're killing me. I love the Dick and Jane series. You, my friend, you are a great storyteller. What a unique gift. Thank you, RV Life on the open road. Joyce Barnett, I would never want anything that big, the RV, too much of a headache, and I have never owned one of these. I sure hope Dick and Jane get ha get happy soon. <clears throat> Hot Limit, Dick and Jane is pooping in tall cotton, that's for sure. Nancy Evans says Dick and Jane and puppies, happy, happy. All I could see was her opening the fridge with all that mess and slapping the sandwiches together to eat as they hurry down the road. I, that's true. Nancy Evans, thanks, had no idea what a dooley was. A lot of people apparently didn't know it. This is on uh, PewDiePie, one of the big videoers on YouTube. I mean, he gets millions of views. He's got millions of subscribers. Uh, he says, she's in Pamela T, he says, well, you're well on your way, almost 19,000. You're the best I've seen. Keep on, keep on keeping. Geez, you can imagine the income. Wonder how many of his or my, all of them are deep. Uh, you know, he goes through periods where they do get after him, but <clears throat> he makes about 16 million a year. Amazingly, and he's he's not one of the top ones. There's people ahead of him. Many of them. 2019 Ram Brenda Coetta. That's a sweet truck, pricey though, looking to trade my F-250 diesel for a Ram 2500, but not a new one. Okay, Tracy Phillips, great review, Rusty, little too much for me. My 14-foot Jayco is all I need. Have a great day, my friend. Thank you. Uh, nice truck, Tracy says. She'll stick to her Nissan Frontier. Roz Black, thanks for the laughs on comment call. Thank you. This is Roger St. Martin. On the Rockwood, does it come with a map? It would take me three days to find my way out. <laughs> I know the feeling. Look how I live. Me, my cat, and I am on the Casita. Great video with lots of information. Thanks for sharing. You're very welcome. Johnny Vegas on the Rockwood. It is, 35, it is 36 feet too large for some national parks. Grand Canyon, for example. Uh, I, I think they they could get into Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon in the first place. Okay. 
uh, but yeah, there's several national parks and state parks and other places that they, they couldn't go. <clears throat> they can't go to a Gear Springs north of Las Cruces, 22 foot max. Me, my cat, and I am on the Rockwood. This thing is big on size and big on price. Dick and Jane, LOL, I read that pr primer book when I was at Primer, the book when I was in first grade. Yeah, Dick and Jane, everybody did, I guess. Patricia Reddick, brilliant. <clears throat> Somebody asked me if I was a communist. Who do, do I care? <laughs> I'm not. I don't know what I am. I'm, I'm a me. Drummed HD1. Good man, Rusty. Thank you. Joyce. Joe Boyette. Good morning, Joe. Love the Dick and Jane series. Keep up the good work, Rusty. Thank you, Joe. Chasing simplicity. City of Rocks is awesome. Great tips, Rusty. Enjoying your videos. Looking forward to Prius camping. Good for you. You'll enjoy it. RVing with Dick and Jane. Joe Boyette says, love this stuff. Red ass, love it. <laughs> you like that, huh? Broomology. Joe Boyette had to sell a gold filling to make that state broom licensing fee, but now I can use my broom. Dang it. <laughs> Marion Seeley on comment call. Hey, Rusty, I was wondering if when you're finished with your broomology class, would you please follow it with a class on mopology? I have been noticing that few people know how to use, swing the mop properly. No, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's a little too technical. I'm afraid I better not do that one. I'm going to let the broomology be my only class. <laughs> that was just a fun thing to do. Daily Life Hacks is the person's name. On the RAM, it says the title, LOL. Oh, I talk about Dick's truck. Uh, Mike Well, comment call. It's called Respect. That isn't taught at home or school. But I think once you quit hearing sir and ma'am, the rest is soon to follow. Ed Tom Bell, No Country for Old Men. <clears throat> yeah, that was a good movie. On the Ram pickup, Crin Keep, K R Y N N K E P, 75 grand for a pickup truck. Well, that just boggles my mind. Guess I won't be trading my 2002 truck anytime soon. No, if you've got a pickup, hang on to it. We got about three more, and I'll shut her down. Four more. Jessica Gilowitz or Helowitz. I found this video very infor very informational, but also very entertaining. Loved it. 1010 would watch again that's on the tab new camp looks like a 320 2019 ram der trixa nice cars over there greetings from germany der trixa is from germany 2019 rockwood der trixa from germany says everyone here in germany thinks that's a travel trailer from america by the way many storage for beer a lot of stories for beer true greetings from tiny germany well greetings from tiny uh burnett county <clears throat> texas usa last one joyce barnett another fun comment called some thumbs people just like to make life miserable blah, blah. you know don't worry about those guys because the more you point them out the more the more you're going to get them okay because that, they thrive on that but also i found out from youtube something interesting thumbs down <clears throat> There are some viewers that go from channel to channel to channel and just go thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. And they know who they are. So, so whenever they do a thumbs down, it doesn't mean anything. So there's millions of people out there giving thumbs down and they think they're hurting the channel. And YouTube already knows who they are and they just don't, they don't count them. They, they're just doing that for, and nothing's happening. It's just helping them psychologically. They, they don't know it's just a total waste of time. But let them have fun because Google, I mean, YouTube knows about it and they found out who they are and sometimes they ban them from YouTube entirely, <clears throat> which I'm proud to know. But anyway, having said that, Google, hey Google, tell us a joke. Parallel lines have so much in common, it's a shame they're never going to meet. Very good point, sir, Miss Google. Anyway, from Central Texas, USA, guys, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. But if you think about it, use the Amazon link in the description of my videos. Some of you are, and I appreciate that very much. And some of you have, and I appreciate that also. 
But anyway, what else? Uh, drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want a snack, and that's good for you. What else? Take deep breath. Breathe in deep, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure, and that's extremely good for you. What else? Stretch, 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 walk, walk, walk. <clears throat> Keep your body in motion, stay loose. Swivel, 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 because I got a casita coming. And then uh, what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind because what you let in are ingredients. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. Accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative, okay? But having said that, from Central Texas where it's going to be another hot day, <clears throat> enjoy your life one day at a time. And I'll post another video or two later today on some of the stuff I did yesterday. Enjoy your life, guys. Adios. Bye-bye.